using order of operations to simplify in parentheses one fourth plus one six quantity squared. In order to begin this problem, let's review our order of operations. P E M D A S. P stands for inside our parentheses first. Then we work with our exponents. Next, we multiply or divide. Left to right. And the last thing we do is add or subtract. Again, left to right. Okay. Over here on the left side of my paper, I'm going to copy the problem. 1 fourth plus 1 six parenthesis squared. Okay. So, let's begin by looking inside our parenthesis which is the first thing we have to do, I have 1 fourth plus 1 6. In order to add fractions, you need to have a common denominator. So let's look at our list of multiples. Okay, so I have 4 and 6. I'm going to multiply until they match. So 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12. Then I look at the 6, 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12. So my common denominator is going to be 12. So how many times does 4 go into 12? 4 times 3, 4 times 3 is 12. So I, now I multiply the numerator. 1 times 3 is 3. We're looking at how many times does 6 go into 12. So I multiply by 2 over 2. 6 times 2 is 12. 1 times 2 is 2. Now I'm ready to add the numerator. I'm going to add the 3 plus the 2. So 3 plus 2 is 5 keeping our denominator, 12, 12, 12, okay? So looking at the 5 twelves, I ask myself, does this simplify? I notice that 5 is a prime number, so when I try to make a list of factors here, 5 does not factor, it is prime. When I look at the 12, there is no times 3, bring down the 2 here. I have 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12. Over here I have a 5. Nothing is in common. There is no common factor, so 5 twelfths is simplified. Okay. So the answer to 1 fourth plus 1 six is 5 twelfths. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is work on my exponents. So this is 5 12 to the second power. So this becomes 5 over 12 times 5 over 12. I check to see if anything simplifies by looking to try to cancel from top to bottom. I notice that 5 does not go into 12 evenly, so no. The same thing for this side over here. Nothing simplifies. So now I'm ready to multiply. Copy it over. 5 times 5 is 25. 12 times 12 is 144. I know that is my answer because I already tried to reduce and simplify. So, does this one simplify? No, because 25 is 5 times 5, 144 is 12 times 12, and they have no common factors. So the answer to this problem is 25 over 144. 25 over 144.